I'm making this video because everyone in my Twitch chat always asks me how do I get out of Division 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Think about this video like a fast and full guide to Master Arena. We're going to tackle early game, mid game, and late game, but not in the common way that I normally see on YouTube. What I decided to do was write down three bullet points for each early game, mid game, and late game, and I wrote down the solutions to those problems. The thing about that, though, is that's going to be rapid fire right off the bat. Once I go through all those, then we're going to walk through a live commentary of me winning an arena game so I can teach you everything I just talked about. That way, you're going to be able to learn something and and apply it at the same time. Real quick plug to you, Sporter Creator Code Kenmeads in the item shop. It helps me out so much more than you think. I always reply to people who use my code on Instagram or Twitter if you feel like doing that. Let's run this up real quick and start out with early game. One of the most common problems with early game is dying off spawn. Controlling your RNG is really, really difficult in this game. When it comes to surviving and dying off spawn, there's just two different types of categories in my opinion. You're either the player that constantly dies off spawn or two, you're the type of person who survives the drop but is really kind of frustrated because you don't get any kills coming out of it. In my eyes, the best thing to do is the land where there's about two or three people and then that way if it's a big enough spot you can control that entire poi the easiest way to put this if you're constantly dying off spawn you should land at a spot that's not a poi so i get this question asked a lot one of my most favorite spots to land in solos if i'm ever really struggling i'll go above slurpee like above this ditch area and there's a gas station this is the exact spot i'm probably going to show it on screen right now there's plenty more spots just like this where there's tons of loot and tons of mats along the way although the games tend to drag out just a little bit longer it makes it way more rewarding in the end especially if you can get the victory with that being said, the next problem is coming out with no mats. I've noticed landing at certain spots, like for example, Pleasant Park, you'll come out after killing like three or four people and still have no mats. Now, this isn't every time, but for the most times I land there, I don't have a lot of mats, I don't have a lot of brick, and I don't have a lot of metal. All I recommend for this is to pay attention to every time you come out surviving that POI or that place where you landed at. From there, just look at your mat count in the course of like five to six games, and if it's always shams or just not a lot, I would recommend landing somewhere else and finding a new landing spot. One of the biggest problems when trying to win arena games is constantly being cucked by the zone. Remember one quick tip that's going to help you a lot. If the zone is ever constantly pulling in one direction, it's probably going to continue pulling all the way to the corner of the map. A quick summary of the zone in Fortnite, it always tends to do the same sort of thing. If you're on a mountain, it always tends to go down that mountain and then back up the mountain after that next moving zone. The biggest thing for me is just landing at a spot where I know there's rotate. Sometimes I can take a car. Sometimes I can take the boat. Sometimes I can literally just use the river without the boat or there's going to be a launch pad nearby. Also, if you guys don't know, shout out to Nick830. You can literally take a Ferrari and fly across the map. I hope that was quick enough. When we talk about mid game now, the most important thing is to be aware of what's going on around you. I think that mid game makes the game extremely aggravating because if you go all the way past early game and you're in the mid game and you just rotate and you get beamed or sniped, that death will be very frustrating. Not being aware and getting shot first will be the number one problem when talking about mid game. Really quickly, some small point is to never take fights on the edge of zone because you're going to get third party. Two, a really good tip is to never make a habit of jumping up and down a lot, especially if you have double movement or you're even on a controller, I would recommend strafing more than I would jumping up and down because it's way harder to predict. When you plan your rotate before doing anything, your mid game fights are going to come really easy because more often than not, you're going to be the one getting the first shot on someone. When you're actually in a mid game fight, a really common problem is that people don't play angles. I have an entire series called Don't Make This Edit, Make This Instead, where I teach you all about angles and certain edits and when to do them and when not to. Look forward to me teaching you that in the live gameplay as well. Being too greedy when you don't need to be, at least for me, is one of the most common problems in mid game arena. I'll always try and go out of my way for some extra loot instead of putting myself in a better position to win the game. You don't need a whole lot of mats to win games. And matter of fact, and more often than not, it's probably good to get better position and just farm along the way. Just don't forget that you should be ready to leave fights. Don't feel like just because you get into a fight that you have to fight this person. Especially when I'm going for clips, one of the most common things I do is if I'm shambles, I know more often than not, I probably won't make a play. So instead of doing something crazy and stupid and trying to 50-50, I'll straight up leave the fight or find a sneaky way to leave the fight. That way I can reposition, gain more mats, and attack someone and actually get a clip. Even a mindset like that will help you get more wins. Here's three problems about late game. The most common one is getting caught fighting edge zone. Never ever do you want to get caught fighting edge zone because that is the most likely place you're going to die. Easiest time to die when you're edge zone, especially if you have a lot of mats, because there's going to be so many people looking back at you. This goes hand in hand, but not having a lot of mats end game. The most important thing to do is to study how you use your mats and see how you can do it more efficiently. And that's what I'm going to be going over as I'm in the late game. Hopefully I can actually show you shortly where I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly how I have enough mats to fight the last player to win the game. Some of these things include reusing someone's launch, reusing someone's tarp, or even just freely rotating to save mats. In the late game, if you struggle closing it out, I'm going to try and explain to you some small tips and tricks while I'm live. Now for myself, there's a whole lot to remember when I'm live, so I'm going to try and do my best. Let's hop into it. All right, man, I keep dying, but I'm still in a good mood, dude. I'm still in a good mood. I'm going to try once a... 
early game, mid game, late game, general tips and tricks a lot. Please, God, help me win this. I'm done playing around. We're getting a win. It's an easy Vic Royale. He is now in my car. Let's go. He's not running from us. I like that. Oh my gosh. No, there was another guy here. Let's go. Playing angles work so well. I think I'm uploading this game whether I win or lose because I don't know if I have time to play another game out. You guys might hate me if I lose this, so you're, you're going to find out at the end of this video. If you believe in your boy, let me see a blue heart in the comment section. That way I know who the real ones are. Alrighty, so we pretty much handled early game by playing angles since we did not have a lot of mats. I'm going to land up here because we got a launch pad and there's also minis on the other side of this building. As I rotate out of here, the goal is to farm as much mats as possible and also we do have the good side of zone so we're pretty much good with that oh my gosh there's a llama oh we're so winning this game we are hardcore vibing right now oh green pump i like that got a guy bill fight me and then i get third party no bro i'm going misty meadows yeah I'm gonna come out on top. I'm gonna show you guys how. We're gonna land at this house. Shields, minis, beautiful. We're gonna key a kid. I'm gonna show you guys how to come on top when you land early game. And I'm gonna show you right now. Do I have good landing? Oh, so close. Oh, this is beautiful. Land right here, get this shield. This is a god loadout. Maybe that too. Might be able to snag this. Beautiful. Got that wall, had him cornered. Perfect. Besides the fact I choked the shot, you didn't see that. Hit him again, playing angles. Gonna drop, it's gonna keep healing up. We got all day for this fight, man. All day. Yep, got all day for this, man. Yep, and uh, we do have all day. The tack is close, ladies and gents. The tack is close. We're gonna heal up. We're gonna get this W. We're gonna heal up again. We do what we gotta do. My shotgun one's reloaded. Let's go! I think I just had a heart attack. The attack, when it's used against me, just feels like there's so much more pressure than there really is. I'm sorry I wasn't talking, probably wasn't educational at all right there, but I hope that was content. Oh my gosh, I got the beam of the century. I'm not scared of nobody in arena. That's how you really win a game. That's how we know the vibes are high right now. What do we say, a nice little mid game fight? And Beans thinks so. Little right hand peak action. Beautiful. Executed beautifully. The reason why I kept shooting there though was because he had his back to me and he was just, he just looked confused. Okay, I gotta be aware there's a lot of people rotating on this side of zone. Oh my gosh, there's actually a lot of people here. Oh my gosh. Gotta heal up Insta. I'm not having this. I'm flying out of here. You guys can have all that action. I'm not about that. Die. Let's go. Free loot. We'll take that loot. Oh my gosh, that just made us very kitted. We got more launch pads than we know what to do with it. Yep. Busted the launch pad and we're gonna get high. Oh my gosh. We're gonna run on the outskirts of this. I 
think the play is the short launch pad. We're going to stay ahead of zone as much as possible. Bro, what are you? What, what aimbot is this guy? Ah! Yep, we got height now. Easy as a launch pad. Keep height, apply second. Oh, that guy's weak. Kill him. He's going to get ahead and look back. We have plenty of mats. Main goal is to just stay ahead. Let's. Yo, we got the win. Oh my gosh, after all that adversity, man. Your boy struggled so hard for this. <laughs> I've never been more happy for one win of my life, dude. Oh. Listen, don't forget to use code KenMeads. And speaking of which, shout out to everyone on the screen right now using code KenMeads in the item shop. Feel free to send me proof on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always live on Twitch. Link down below. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Deuces. Peace.